Hi, welcome to my house. Come follow me to the kitchen. My house is made in 1925, so it's a little old and a little small, but it has a quaint and cozy feeling. Today I'm going to show you how to make a popular and kind of easy to make fun Korean dish that my mom taught me when I was younger. But first, let me put on my handy dandy Free Vanderbilt apron and school pride that I always take with me and wash my hands. All right, so the four main ingredients you need is olive oil, rice, preferably cold, kimchi, and sesame oil. If you want to add a little bit of something different, you can add a little bit of cheese at the end to kind of soothe out the spiciness. So here's the kimchi. So what you're going to first do is actually heat up the pan. Make sure the pan is very hot so when you put on the kimchi, it's sizzling. It makes that sizzle noise. So what you're first going to do is cut the kimchi. I recommend getting the whole cabbage instead of cut up ones because they taste a, a lot better. They taste a little different. And what you're going to do is saute the kimchi in the hot pan. Add the rice, and then when you see it all mixed really well together, kind of that red feel, then you add a little bit of sesame oil when you turn off the heat, and then you serve. And that is pretty much the whole recipe. So let's get started. So here's a Korean kimchi, which is fermented spicy cabbage, and it's quite difficult to make. It takes a couple of days, and you have to get the salt and all of the ingredients well together, but since I'm a college student and I do not have that kind of time, I bought it from the supermarket, locally. So that's how it is. So you're going to add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Let that heat right up. Also, I would also recommend adding a little bit of the juice onto the pan just to get that extra kimchi taste to the meat, so I'm going to leave that out there. Let's heat that up. So I eat a lot of this dish when I come home and I feel tired and I'm just having not having a great day and I want something from home. This is what I make. It's kind of my version of grilled cheese. It just makes you feel better because all the times that I came home from school and my mom was there and every time I was sad, she'd be like, let's make some kimchi bokobap, which is pretty much kimchi fried rice. So that is why this dish is so important to me. It makes me feel good, makes me, and it's really easy. So it's one of my first dishes as well. So you want to wait till the pan is quite hot so that when you put, place the kimchi on there, it sizzles right there. And then you're just going to let it cook a little bit. You can move it around with a wooden spoon and let that sit there for a little bit. And then next you're going to do is prep the rice, but make sure it's, you see that it's a little bit, um, not as red. It's going to change a little bit darker as you cook it a little bit more. All right. So now it's the time for rice. I actually make half brown, half white, cause I'm not fully committed to the brown rice yet, but I'm halfway there. And what you're going to do is you can see the sizzling kimchi and you're going to add maybe a table, a cup, a tablespoon, a cup, Round one, a cup, depending on how many people you have. And you're just going to actually flatten the rice out by, do not flatten it, poke it, and then you're going to mix it in with the kimchi. So you mix it around until the rice is almost fully covered in the kimchi juice up to the point where it's about this color. It takes about maybe a minute or two, not much longer. And you can actually see the color of the kimchi change from when I place it on the pan to now when it's kind of cooked. All right, last step. So what you're going to do now is turn off the heat. And then you're going to add the sesame oil. I do it by eye, but if I were to kind of guesstimate it, it would be a tablespoon. Just drizzle it on there. Remember the heat is off. And then have a last round of frying. And then 
serve it on a dish. Now some people can make it a little funky and they can add a fried egg or add cheese because it's a little spicy. My mom likes to also garnish it with toasted se uh, sesame seeds. So if you would like to invest in that, that's it. But here is the rudimentary Korean kimchi pokembap. Just has rice, oil, sesame oil, and kimchi. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one.